It's the final few seconds before the lights go out and the race to the podium begins. You know this battle will be won off the track as well as on it. You've studied your tactics, anticipated every move like a grand master. You've researched and analyzed, modified and fine-tuned to perfection. You have honed your instincts to give you an edge over your rivals. Your drivers focused, your team ready. The championship in the balance. First past the checkered flag, the goal. Epic victory or ultimate failure. Welcome back F1 Manager family to another F1 Manager video. In today's video we are on our junior account here and we are about to get our opening round started for our junior account as we are in the challengers division. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. Alright, remember to subscribe to the channel for all your F1 Manager content and also leave a like on the video. All right, so we're going to be using this hybrid tune here uh, for our Juniors GP, as we always do use a hybrid tune for the Juniors GP. And what I mean when I say a hybrid tune is uh, we're going to go, a hybrid tune is a tune with good power and good pit time. All right. So right now, as you can see, our arrow is way down at 36, but our grip is up at 47, reliability at 29. But we have that 61 power and we have 2.06 seconds in the pit. Alright. So that's going to be a game changer for us. As we now have Lewis Hamilton up to level 3. So he's better uh, than level 8 Grosjean. He's better than level 8 Kevin Magnussen. He's way, way better than level 5 Albon. He's just better than all our current drivers. So we're using Kimi and we're using Hamilton level 3. Alright. So if you can manage to get your Hamilton to level 3 at this level... Uh, then he's gonna do awesome for you guys. Let's get straight into these races. Wet and dry races. Lewis Hamilton best for wet races, and he's gonna also be good on wet and dry races too. All right. So let's go. Let's go. Want to give a huge shout out to Slug DZ. He started a Twitch account, so he started to stream on Twitch. I was just over there. Uh, watching his GP streams awesome dude I'm gonna put a link down in the description to his twitch channel so if you are on twitch you can go give slug DZ some support over there on twitch great dude really awesome content over there he shows you his version uh, his style of the game which is trust me a good style great dude with good content alright so you guys can go over there and support DZ on twitch and just let him know that Game of King send you guys over to give him some support. Alright. Alright, let's get into this race. Waiting for the rival. Seems like the rival is putting on some boost. He got a better qualifiers than us. But it's going to be a wet start into dry. Alright. Which track is this again? France. Alright. So we, we're going to go for... Oh, it's going to be mostly wet. Four minutes to dry. That's not going to dry out at all. It's going to be mostly wet. Rival right, put on some boost on his Albon there. We didn't put on any boost. This is the Challengers GP. And it's a junior account. We, we don't really need to use boost at this portion of the race. But I guess some people want to give themselves the better opportunity to score good points we're just gonna score whatever we get all right let's go either way we might not need all our races to get qualified as this is a challengers division not like our car is really super good or anything but yeah we definitely might not need all all our races to qualify down here all right so we're going to save those boosts until the final day. A quick quick tip that I like to do before each race is, uh, you see that free boost that you collect 
uh, with the ads. I like to collect those boosts before before I do my races. Uh, I think that whenever you lose a race uh, and you go back to the main screen, the first thing pops up is the free boost. So sometimes I feel like the game uh, makes you lose on purpose so you can go to the free boost to collect those free boosts. So what I like to do is I like to collect them before I go to race. Uh, so if I lose, I genuinely knew that I lost uh, without the game forcing me to lose. Just my thoughts on that. That's how I look at it. Rival putting in that work. Going to pit with his Alban. Going to pit with his Kimi. We're going to go for another lap. 25% should be good to get us to four. To get us four laps in. And we're going to go to wet tires. And then we're going to boost for two laps. And then we're going to come back. And he's boosting. He's probably wondering how the heck am I doing four laps. <laughs> come on. Kimi suffered a breakdown. That breakdown is going to hurt a lot. We didn't need to suffer that breakdown there. But that's how it is. Let's go, let's go. Alright, so we should be in there for about four seconds. Uh, man, we went six seconds. Damn. That really hurt. And we're back in 17th position. Currently at 25 points. We want to score at least 30 points. Uh, we should be able to score at least 30 points here. We'll be coming back to pit in the six. Looks like we're going to be coming back to soft tires. Let's see uh, what the clouds had to say about that. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be coming back to uh, soft tires let's put in those go to pit no we're not going to come back to soft tires we're coming back to wet tires so we're, what I'm going to do here is to boost an extra lap on these wet tires so we're going to come back to pit to soft tires in the 7th Hamilton doing good. Let's go cinematics. Enjoy the scenery. Rival went to soft tires. Too early for soft tires, bro. He's gonna. I wonder if he knows that he's definitely slowing down his drivers to go to soft tires. There seems like he suffered a breakdown with his Kimi as well. Uh, I don't think that he realized that he's slowing down his drivers when he went. He goes to soft tires at a hundred percent wetness. We're about to run out of tires with Hamilton. So Hamilton is unable to boost for three laps on this track on wet tires. All right. Still managed to hold his positions on those wet tires. And our soft tires in the wet. See how much points we're at. 33 points. Let's see... Uh, uh, where Hamilton can Kimi can get in and get out 223. He's back out in 14. We're at 30 points to be exact uh, So at least we're at our average So let's see whatever points we can gain now on this last lap the Last portion those wet tires are gonna slow so soft tires should take full effect here And we should get by the rivals Kimi you possibly get by that number four car as well Yeah, we should get up to four. There we go. Getting by the rival in that number four car. Now, let's see if Kimi can get up against uh, these two. All right, so we're not going to catch them. They're good distance away. So we made uh, 36 points. Nice. So that's a good start. As you know, the GP races is not 100% <clears throat> not about beating your rival. Uh, it's mostly about scoring points. 
And that's what we did. Score good points there. All right, let's go into our next race. Let me check for race crates. There it is. I haven't been playing on this account all week because I'm pushing my main account. So currently this account is way down the bottom. Oh, it's not in the relegation zone at least. So it's good. Close, but not in there. So it's good. All right, so for Mexico, for Monaco, you need a good amount of grip. So we're gonna go to the tune here. And we're gonna see how we can increase grip uh, and try to keep that pit time nice and low. Throw the engager in there. It's gonna bring that grip up to pit time gone up as well. Uh, what else can give us some grip? All right, I think I'm gonna work with this. Yeah, just to give us a little more grip for Monaco. Yeah, I'm gonna work with this. I might give Lewis Hamilton a downforce boost just to give him that extra tire management and give Kimi the self-control to give him a little extra tire management as well. Uh, let's see how it works. Looking good so far. Now we're getting out qualified on the back. We didn't manage to catch up, not at all. So we're out qualified here by a lot. It's going to be a soft into wet race. Uh, so we don't need to give the boost as it makes no sense to give the boost at that point. Since it's going to be a soft into wet race, we're going to be going into low tire management into high tire management. So uh, we don't need to give the boost to get the extra tire management. We would only give boost to boost the race and we don't want to do that in the opening round on the junior account here. We want to save those boosts for the final final round. As we just need to score a 30 average and that should get us through. Hamilton squeezing through there. Nice. Rival gone ahead. He's way in the lead there. Currently at 24 points. One minute to rain. So it's going to be a one stop into the rain. Four to six laps on wet tires. So we can run a one stop if we go for four laps on these soft tires. And then going to wet tires, we can just boost from there to the finish. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go cinematics and enjoy the scenery. Not yet for wet. Too early. We need two more laps. Arrival pushing that Albon. See how aggressive Albon is driving. He looks like he's going to go to pin now to wet tires. We're going to boost the fort into pit. Alright, so he didn't go with Grosjean. Let's see if he's going to go to pit with that Albon. Into wet tires nice and early. Nah, so he's going for four laps as well. Now let's boost our drivers here. Putting the go to pit arters to wet. Wet. Gained a few positions, few drivers switching out, AI drivers switching out to wet. 
nice and early. Hamilton looks like he's not going to make it back to pit on tires. We're going to keep that boost on him, though. He should make it. Let's get him down there. Just so he can make it right at the pit lane. And then he's going. Oh, that tire is 237. Go Kimi. Go now Hamilton. Alright, so now it's just about sprinting to the finish. We're at 23 points. Let's see who's in who's ahead. Alright, so we have one Perez. Hard tires should be going to pit. Uh, Grosjean hard tires should be going to pit. Should be getting by Grosjean on those hard tires. Number 11. Alright, so we got by Grosjean. So Verstappen and Leclerc should go to pit. But they're way, way ahead. There they are up in the top there. So they are third and sixth place. There is six Verstappen. Third place Leclerc is way ahead, so we won't be able to catch Leclerc. Uh, but we should catch Verstappen in number six. And I'm surprised to see how Verstappen at number six is holding. As the line is being blocked up by these AI car. AI Kimi is holding the line, blocking up the line. Verstappen still didn't go to pit. Leclerc, I should say, still didn't go to pit. Alright, we finally got by Leclerc as AI Kimi freed up the line. There he is right there, still in 10th place. So AI Kimi is the only driver that I don't like in the game. He's the only AI car that I don't like, and I think a lot of people don't like AI Kimi as well in the game. He's a monster at defending. Once he starts to defense, uh, you're never going to get around. He'll hold you for the entire race behind once he's in defensive mode. And you'll never get by. But we're at our average of 30 points, so I'm happy for that. At least we didn't score below the average. Let's continue now to conserve in. Boost from there and boost from here. Cross the finish line at 30 points. Nice. So at least we made our average of 30. Happy for that. What I'm going to do now is to switch back the tune. Gonna switch back the tune to to bring down back the pit time, and then we'll go into this next one. Yeah, there goes that. There goes that 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 boost thing that I'm telling you about. Whenever you lose the race, all right. I'm gonna pause the video right there, right here, and then I'm gonna go clear those boosts, and then I'll be back. All right. So I've cleared all, all the boosts now, so we shouldn't be getting, yeah I like to keep that nice and clear uh, before I go to do my races, uh, just so they don't, the game don't make us lose, just so we can go and claim those boosts, as I think the game does that sometimes. So as you can see here, a score of 300 would, us, would, have, would get us right there in the top, and as you know I, I don't want to score. Uh, way up in the top. I just want to score somewhere about down here so uh, I still might not use all all my races So it doesn't really matter how I score as long as I keep above that 30 average. I should be fine uh, To qualify all right, Let's go Italy, so we're gonna be doing the three to the three three two 
three two three uh or we're gonna go with three three two for italy on our main account we lost to a three three two with hard tires in the middle as we were going for all soft tires uh that one was just a lucky one because he should have been out of tire out of fuel when he passed us uh but that that's how that is so if you haven't checked out our main account videos yet uh go check that out some awesome races on the main account and the event so far all right Let's go. So we're starting off with a boost. Poor qualifiers here from Hamilton once more. Way back in 17th position there. While well, Kimi and Grosjean has done good for the rival. Let's go down there and go down here so we can get those three laps in. Rival is going for a split strategy. Soft with Grosjean, hard with Kimi. So he's going to try to go for four laps uh, with that Grosjean with his high tire management. And he used uh, hard tires on Kimi to get Kimi to do the exact same amount of laps. All right. However, Kimi's going to be slower because he's on hard tires. And our Kimi just tried to overtake, got blocked, and lost two positions. Now we have AI Kimi to deal with. So not looking too good for our race so far. At least we're near or average at 25 points. So if this race goes down the hill from here, uh, at least we can score close to 30 or 30 points, which is the average that I always try to go for on the junior account. All right. And remember, GP races is not necessarily about beating your rival. It's mostly about scoring points. So it doesn't matter if you're losing. As long as you get those points scored. It's quite fine. Alright, so we're going to go with hard tires in the middle here. And see if we can get some undercut done. As you can see, the rival Grosjean has gone. He has created a huge amount of distance for himself. Until he gets a free pit stop. No challenges. Let's boost Kimi in from here and let uh, Hamilton continue to conserve in. And because of the fast pit time, we got in and out of pit. Back in 9 with Kimi, we got in and out of pit uh, in 20 with Hamilton. Alright, now we're on boost. Good amount of these AI cars that are ahead of our Hamilton should go to pit. Only two, Norris should go, Magnuson should go, so they all went to pit already. So that's not good for us at least. Kimi didn't gain any position from those who, who were in pit. Alright, so a few of them went to pit and we should get by them with Hamilton. It's now up to 15. He's trying his best to get this position. He got it. We're going to continue to push until the sixth lap when we'll be going back to pit. So we should also gain another few set of positions for those who go to pit. There they are going to pit. Let's go, Hamilton. Get around this. Come on. Nice. So, should be weighing the points 35 there. Putting the gold pit orders. Kimi created nice distance there for himself. So, he should get a free pit stop. And Hamilton is trying to create a little bit of distance for himself as well. So, he can get a pit stop without losing too much positions. Alright, so the fourth and the fifth car went to pit with Kimi. He got out in front of one. So, he's back in fifth place. Hamilton now out in 11. 
he's back out in 10. All right, so he's out in 11. Yeah, I can be pushed by there. <laughs> All right, so we're still at 35 points. So we're in the money here, in the points. <laughs> Some would say in the money. That's a start market uh, term. More, more on that later on. <laughs> oh, yeah. More on that later on. Let's get back to the race. Not stray from the point here. All right, good comeback from Hamilton. He's up to 10, so that should be 36 so far. So this is what I was saying, that the rival should have been out of fuel. As I know, he should have been out of fuel when he passed me. This is why I was just relaxing on the main account, because I'm like, all right, so he should be out of fuel by now. So I was just, like, relaxing. But he got by on this final corner, but that's how it is. The rival Kimi ran out of fuel. He got a 1-2 though. Good race. And we got 40, 36 points. So that's above our average of 30. So that's awesome for us. Alright. Level 5 Kimi, level 9 Grosjean. So level 9 Grosjean is better than Hamilton level 3. As you can see from the stats there. Nice hybrid tune, not not necessarily a complete hybrid because he's not below 2.50 in the, in the pits, but a nice tune there from the rival. Hey, do we do we we should have a race grade at this point now? Oh, after this next race, okay. Let's get into it. Hungry. All right, so we got a match. We have a good amount of flags and more than the rival. That doesn't mean that we're gonna outdo this rival at all and sometimes when you get a match like this uh, the game gives the rival a handicap and he gets a better qualifying positions just like that Kimi and Perez and Perez and Kimi ain't no good but they're good here for the rival that's a handicap qualifiers we might suffer a breakdown nice and early as well. That's just how the game is. I'm looking forward to see that breakdown nice and early. Uh, just to give the rival the upper hand because we outmatched him by flags. That's how the game does. Once he makes a mismatch like that, it kind of gives the opponent an uh, handicap most of the time. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but most of the time it gives them an handicap. And their drivers perform really great. And you'll have to fight to win that race most of the time. Well, he's boosting. Is Kimi trying to catch up to Hamilton? Well, we're just cruising here. Kimi doing good in defense there. Holding off those AI cars. Is he still pushing? Yep, he's still pushing. <laughs> Oh man, this dude definitely needs that handicap. If we don't get this breakdown, there's no way we're losing this race. It's a full wet race, so it's gonna be a one stop. He's trying to get around, Vettel is trying to get around. Hamilton is blocking. All right, so he finally gets around Vettel. Now to get around Lewis. And he's burning cut down hate when that happens when your driver uh, pretends to go around and then they cut down alright we should boost Kimi from here let's boost from there 
or Hamilton. Uh, hopefully, your Kimi can gain some positions and cut down some of the time lost and catch up to the rival. Now to put in our go to pit orders. Uh, we should have been conserving the same way and at least try to go for even five laps. But I'm going to go for four here and then I'm going to boost the finish on these four. So he's now conserving. Uh, doesn't matter either way. Our Kimi should get some positions. Oh, he didn't go to pit with Perez. That that's that's interesting. Let's go now. Oh, come on! I hate when that happens. My driver is going into pit, and then because of the AI cars coming out of pit, uh, they slowed our drivers down. I hate when that happens in the pit lane. So we have Stroll, the rival, and Vettel to run out of tires soon. But he managed to create damn. He managed to get back around the track with that Perez on that low tire management. That l low amount of tires. That's crazy. That Perez made it back around without running out of tires. Alright, we're just going to boost here to the finish. 37 points currently, so we're in the points. No worries for me. I'm in the points. 38 now. And Kimi is gaining positions 1 and 2 here and there. Switch to the inside. Nice. Inside again. He went wide. Hamilton screaming out to go to pit. What for Hamilton? You have good distance on that number three car. So you should be able to make it to the finish. He's now out of fuel and out of tires. So he's going to be extremely slow, but he should make it. Kimi is on now on low fuel. He's conserving. Let's boost Hamilton on the straightaway so he doesn't uh, stop and let that number three Verstappen get by him. As Kimi continue to conserve as Albon try to get around. And Albon did get him. Let's boost him now to the finish. So that's 38 points. Nice. Uh, we'll take that all day. Good 38 there. Right, let's look. Rival Perez is level 6. Nice setup there as well. That's a 73 uh, power 71 grip tune. So though he has low flags, he has good amount of parts, good level on his parts. So we should he shouldn't have gotten the handicap there on us. But that's how it is. Let's get this race great and then let's get to this final race. Now let's get to our final race of this video. Let me know down in the comments how you guys are doing in your opening round and leave the code word the code word for today's video is going to be red bull racing so leave the code word red bull racing down below to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video really appreciate you guys for all your support and if you haven't already checked out the main account video that video is live as well so you can go check that out and see how we did on the main account. All right, remember to also go give Slug Dizzy some support as he's starting to stream on Twitch. Great dude, great content. You guys will love it. And Slug Dizzy has a spin 
on most of my strategies so most of the strategies that I use uh, he has a spin and how to make them better all right so go check him out and show some support nice qualifiers here once again Hamilton qualifying way in the back for some strange reason don't know why Hamilton is being is acting like this performing like this as he is level 3 and he's better than uh, the rest of our drivers but it seems like we'll have to switch back to some of those drivers in the final of the round because this is unacceptable for the final day that's when we need to score those 40s and put up our best scores And this kind of performance from Hamilton is not going to allow that to happen. All right, we're going to boost for, let's boost for one lap here. And we're going to cut the boost at the starting finish line. Cut the boost there. And cut the boost there. All right, so we can now conserve for four laps. Rival boost in the way there. Two minutes to dry. So normally we would do a 4-3-2. Uh, but this is going to be a wet one. So we might go a 4. Uh, let's see. Are we, should we do a 1 stop? And do a 5-1. Pretty close to that five laps. We're good for five laps with Kimi, but we're we're a little bit off for five laps with Hamilton. So I'm gonna go to pit with Hamilton here. Let's boost him up, and then I'm gonna go for five with Kimi. And then Kimi should be good to go uh, for the remainder of the race well we probably have to come back to pit with uh, Hamilton yeah we're good to boost for four with Kimmy let's boost him in from there Go, go, go. You should get back out in 10. I see we're, we're in the points. We're currently at 28. Uh, so we need two more positions. Hamilton's suffering a breakdown. We're not going to go back to pit with him. We're just going to keep that boost going. Uh, let's cut him down to conserve. For the remainder of the race. He should be able to get two laps there. And let's just keep that boost on Kimi. Let's see if Kimi can gain some more positions. Get our own Vettel here and put us at that 30 average. There we go. Alright, so the rival should go back to pit. With his drivers. He's going to push them. He'll have to go down to conserve. He's boosting them the same way. So he'll have to manage his tires if he's going to go for the next lap. Well, we're going to keep that boost on Kimi. Kimi is gaining nicely. All right, so he didn't go to pit. So he's going to run them to zero tires. They're almost out. Come on, Kimi. Don't run out of fuel right now. When you have a huge opportunity here to get by the rival both of his drivers and get this win as they're out of tires there goes Kimi getting by a good amount of them 
Hamilton is going to be out of tires too. Let's boost him from there. Kimi now out of tires across the finish line. Come on, Hamilton. Hold that number 11. One of the rival car ran out of fuel. His Grosjean is out of fuel. Will he make it across the line though? He didn't. Did he make it across the line? Yeah, they gave him it. He made it across the line. That's an insane race right there. He made it across the line. 36 points. We'll take it. That was a crazy race right there. Can't believe he made it across the line there. Alright. So that's going to be it for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.